Hello bitches, welcome back to my channel. Today's a studio vlog kind of day considering the fact that it's my second week of being unemployed but it's okay because your worth is not tied to your employment status. I'm kind of just viewing it as an opportunity to work on the things I've always wanted to work on more of because to be honest I haven't really been developing merch since last year because Abish is just busy. So ever since my project wrapped up, I kind of just feel like my job is like your boyfriend and you just... I feel like every time a project ends, it's kind of like the end of a relationship. Ever since we broke up, I need to go through some drastic change or just going through some dramatic makeover because you're like, the old me is dead and the new me starts now. So I renovated my whole little corner studio space. I kind of talked about it in one of my latest sketchbook videos as well because I was brainstorming what I want it to look like. So I have it right now in front of me but I'm not going to show it to y'all yet because then what's the point of making a video about it later if I show it all to you now? But you might see little snippets or previews of it as I'm doing this vlog. This is not really much of a renovation, it's just me just repositioning things. And in addition to that, one of the previews for that upcoming video is that. All right, can you see her? She's still a little bit shy, so, so we're just gonna let her warm up to us, but this is my new Cintiq. She's a 22 HD, but um, we'll just leave it as an introduction for now and we'll hang out with her more later. It's funny because even when I don't have a full-time job, I feel like I am more busy just because when you're working on your own things, you're kind of a little bit more likely to take it more seriously because it's yours and it's all your responsibility. But anyway, today I am going to be working on some of my revisions for my comic because I recently just submitted the first rough sketches. <laughs> I'm going to go back on them now and just work on the parts that I feel like need further massaging and in addition to that I have to go to the dentist because I need to get one of my cavities filled. I'm going to also be working on some of my merch. I'll show you all some previews of it because Lightbox Expo online is next month. So if you're interested in attending, you will be able to experience that next month. I will update you all more on that later as well. Anyway, I'm gonna hop on a call with my friend Noor because I haven't talked to her in like 10 years. So we're gonna catch up on life. And afterwards, I'm just gonna take care of pretty much all the things I listed and get my ass to a damn dentist. So yeah, see you later. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing revisions for my comic book now, and if you haven't noticed, I am now using Clip Studio Paint because I got a new setup, and with that, I cannot afford to always be constantly paying for Photoshop. Clip Studio Paint is a one-time pay kind of thing, but I'm using the trial right now to just see how I like it. So that's definitely an alternative out there for any of you who currently cannot afford uh, Photoshop or something with a never-ending subscription. It was kind of annoying just setting this up because Clip Studio Paint could not open some of my Photoshop files, so I had to download the trial version of Photoshop to then re-export all my layer comps just to make sure I have them all individually and then I can revise them through Clip Studio Paint. It's kind of annoying but you know there's a learning curve to everything. Um, if you know anything about why Clip Studio Paint could not open some of my Photoshop files please let me know. So I have a PDF of literally all the pages and stuff 
And in preview or whatever, you can kind of add notes in here. Hold up. You can write, oh, these are things you want to fix. These are things you want to change. So then after I do that stuff, then I take it back again. But now as a JPEG, I would have done it in the Photoshop file, but I don't think that's going to work now. So now I'm just literally kind of working on every page and kind of just doing the revisions because like, for example, this was the original page and now it looks like this. For any of you planner nerds out there, I have another thing too. So right now I can't really show you this page because a lot of it is spoilers and I don't know how much of this I am and am not allowed to talk about. But you see, for example, here, I kind of just have um, check boxes of things that I know need a major like redrawing or things that might require me to add panels that would then affect you know the other pages to come and then from here i go into my planner i then write like oh the revisions 2a and 2b 2c 2d 2e 3a 3b and 3c and whatnot so i kind of am able to just schedule out what type of revisions i'm doing like throughout the week i also have a little tracker sheet again i can't really show a lot of this but like for example something like misha and nuna's relationship like there's going to be friendships and stories no matter what so there's four parts to the story that I divided it into. And, you know, trackers are kind of like things where you wanna make sure you're taking note of where the character is at, at this stage of the story. Like in the beginning, they should fucking hate each other, but by the end, they should be friends forever and like love each other or something like that. As I'm working on it, once I complete part one and I really do the things in the story that justify how much these two characters hate each other, okay, then I will, color this in and be like yes i feel like i served their relationship justice in the beginning and color them as i go on to be like okay yes by the end i feel like their relationship really is solidified i feel like they are the bestest of friends they would sacrifice a limb or even their entire bodies for each other then i would color part four it's kind of like a habit tracker but for relationship and character development tracker for any of you who are writing a story. I know other people have ways of doing this, but for me, I feel like I'm a very visual person and I need to see what the fuck I'm doing to understand. Okay, so I finally got a very important package that I've been waiting for and this shit is going to be life-changing. Moon Pie, what? What, come over here. Do you wanna do this unboxing with me? Come on, let's unbox this together. Yes. Alright, so uh, we did verify your insurance and everything still looks better. Okay, great, perfect. So I'll just come in at 4 30 then. My dentist called. But anyway, most of you know that I am a fucking planner whore and I got the Mossery 2021 planner. This is not sponsored. I do know Mossery works a lot with other artists or other illustrators and they send them their stuff, which lucky them, but I am not one of those lucky bitches. It's okay though, because I wanted to buy their stuff regardless because this year I used the Hobonichi Techo as my planner to plan like my life and my projects. But thanks to 2020, a lot of that has become completely useless. So the one thing I didn't really like about this Hobonichi Techo after working in it started becoming too redundant. Like in the back, they have these spreads of just a whole page where you can kind of write a journal entry. And I guess that's the point, but I kind of have my own journal to write all my deep dark thoughts in. And I don't really want to bring something like this to work. And then someone just like opens it and it's like, whoa, Michelle hates so-and-so. But the thing that I mostly care about are things like these spread pages because I did make a video called plan with me and that's pretty much still how I'm planning right now. If you're someone who really enjoys scrapbooking and you see yourself using those extra pages for drawing or just other things that you need to write down then go for it. Once this year is over I'm gonna stop using this one and who knows maybe in the future I'll need a planner like that one again but for now I just think I need something that all I need to do is just write in what I'm doing at what time with 
a few pages for reflection but I don't need like a whole year's pages for reflection. So this is the Mazari. They have sketchbooks as well so check them out. Once again this is not sponsored. I wish I was one of those people that got sponsored by them though because see a lot of cool artists getting sponsored by them. So this is the box. It kind of got a little dented, but that's okay. So this is like a protective cover for it. God, this is so cute. They sent me another box inside the box that holds the official planner. <sighs> just looking at this by itself makes me so happy and just the colors. So yeah, they got me some free stickers as well because when you order them early, you just get these in addition to that. So this is the planner that I got. It is a very lovely pastel purple and blue color. I got my Chinese name engraving on it because I just felt like, hey, anytime I have the opportunity to label something like my art supplies or a sketchbook and use my Chinese name, I'm just gonna do it to just make myself feel special. So here's the planner in its flesh. It's so cute, I can't. And one thing I also like is that they have illustrations inside. And you have an inspiration board here, songs that you like, books, places, things that you can document in the hopes that next year, maybe we will be able to see the outdoors again in its normalcy. Inspiration board, words to live by, role models, that's cool. Priorities, values and beliefs and three things to improve on, change, or achieve. Like, I love this shit. And this is my other thing that I love about planners is having a habit tracker because some people might think I'm anal, but I just really enjoy making sure that I solidify things that I really want as a part of my life. Like, this is what I did to really get flossing integrated in my life. These are my favorite things about planners is having little things that you can do to really allow yourself to achieve your goals. And then this is the part that I care about the most. And then by the end of the month, you have a whole reflection page. It fulfills the same things that the Hobonichi does, except now I just don't need to do as much work to create those pages for myself. So yeah, this is what I really enjoy about this planner. And I'm kind of more than excited for 2021 to start just so I have a reason to use it. But I really want to step up my merch game during this hiatus. I recently ran a BLM charity on my Etsy store where I donated everything I made, including the money I put into my shop for those items to uh, the Loveland Foundation and Equal Justice Initiative. And that was such an inspiring thing that I haven't done before because I'm, I'm still a noob to this whole having an online business. So to be able to do that and donate a lot of money in addition to the help of my employer matching what I made, it was just really inspiring to see. And that's kind of another motivation for me to do more merch now. It's just like in my stickers video, there's nothing more exciting than just seeing something that you just drew on a screen and then being able to touch it in real life and knowing that you can support yourself with it or support other people with it in the future. You know what I'm saying? Moon Pie knows what I'm saying. Of course she doesn't. Here are some other things I've been designing. I'm thinking about making this one a pin. And I have other alternative uh, color variations of this, but seeing that there's so many goddamn layers that I don't want to hide and then unhide, I'm just going to leave this as this for now. And again, come to Lightbox Expo if you're interested in eventually purchasing one of these pins. And I was really excited to do this sticker because at first I was thinking about making Mish sit in a green tea latte or a matcha latte because that's my favorite and I was just like, why not? But then just seeing that her whole theme, especially on my Instagram is pink, I was just like, what if it's just a pink monochromatic sticker, like a pink latte? And I was just like, fuck, that's super cute. So I ended up designing this sticker over this weekend. Whoops. I am going to be doing probably an exclusive sale for people who attend Lightbox Expo first and like, I don't know, do a discount or something like that. I gotta make something special to make people wanna visit my 
virtual table at Lightbox Expo. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to just, again, just be accumulating more merch to design for the convention, which is in one month already, which is crazy. I can't believe it's been a year already since Lightbox Expo last year, and this year we're gonna be doing it virtually. Okay, so I just finished going to the dentist. It wasn't that bad at all. They were really precautious with all the safety and health regulations for COVID. When I walked into the dentist's office, they had mats where I could step my shoes in and it cleans my shoe and whatnot. And yeah, honestly, it wasn't that bad of an experience at all. I was actually kind of like, wow, dentists are pretty cool. They're like an engineer for teeth. Yeah, I'm just excited to go back and eat my dinner now. I'm probably gonna just be working out and chilling for the rest of the night, so that's not really that exciting to watch. But thanks for watching this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. So stay safe and stay wholesome, bitches.